Mr. Mayor. Thank you. We come together this afternoon following the passing of our late sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. Our sadness at this time is shared by people across the globe as we remember with affection and gratitude the lifetime of service given by our longest reigning monarch. But the basis on which our monarchy is built has ensured that through the centuries the crown has passed in an unbroken line of succession. Today's ceremony marks the formal proclamation to the people of the town of Droitwich Spa of the beginning of our new king's reign. Yesterday, the accession council met at St. James's Palace to proclaim our new sovereign. The flags, which had flown at half-mast since yesterday, that since the Queen's death were raised briefly to their full height to mark the start of His Majesty's reign. The accession council also made an order requiring the High Sheriffs to cause the proclamation to be read in the areas of their jurisdiction. The High Sheriff of Worcestershire discharged that duty earlier today, and now, with my humble duty, I bring the words of the proclamation to the residents of the town of Broadwich Spa. Chairman of the Legion, please bring the standards to bear. Standard bearers, march on the standards. Whereas it has pleased the Almighty, pardon, the Royal Proclamation, whereas it has pleased Almighty God to call to his mercy our late Sovereign Lady Queen Elizabeth II of blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come to the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George we, therefore, the lords of the spiritual and temporal realm uh, of, pardon, of this realm and members of the House of Commons, together with other members of Her, Majesty, of Her late Majesty's Privy Council and representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London and others, do now hereby with one voice and consent of tongue and heart publish and proclaim that the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late Sovereign of happy memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege Lord Charles III, by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of his other realms and territories, King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection, beseeching God, by whom kings and queens do reign to bless his majesty with long and happy years to reign over us, given at St. James's Palace this 10th day of September in the year of our Lord, 2022, God save the King. God save the King. Now we call upon the Salvation Army to play the first verse of the National Anthem. <laughs> Majesty the King. Hip hip.